Hey, so today I'm here to do a get ready with me on this look. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't really like try anything new or do anything special. I just had in mind that I wanted to do a gray smoky eye thing with like aqua bluish colored. It turned out straight up teal in the inner corner and everything, but I really like it and it matches my jacket. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's start by priming the eyes. Like always, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, p -p primer potion in Eden. You like my nails? I did them for the first time in a million years. They still don't look great, but at least they're like a pretty color. Okay, now I always take my Lorac Pro Contour and use this with a dry sponge. Take the lightest one and set all of this. I feel like it's really fast when I do it like this. And also, like, I really like Lorac powders for the eyes, but like all my palettes only have one little tiny like skin colored tone, so I just use this giant one. I don't really use this for anything else because I don't really like it for contouring. It's kind of scary to use because it's super pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. You don't have to use this because it's not even sold anymore, but I'm gonna use this gray color in it. Where did it go? This one right here called Ash. Honestly, I'm just gonna pack this on my lid. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do a transition color. I feel like I do my eyeshadow super weird compared to normal people, but I don't care. I think the fire alarms are going off again. Every time I film, I gotta fuck with the... God damn it, the furnace thing. I can never think of that word. This is having a lot of fallout on my face. Now I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush and put this in the crease. This color, I'm not gonna lie, it is looking patchy as fuck. I'm not really sure what to do about it. I probably have other grays and other palettes, but I'm not sure. I feel like normally this one doesn't look that bad, but it is looking horrible. I seem to have a bunch of palettes with shimmery gray, but none of them are matte. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take my BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette first edition, and there's like this row of grays up here. Most of them look shimmery, but I'm gonna take this light one and try to put it in the crease. Yeah, it's a light gray. That actually helped it to blend a lot. Wasn't expecting the Edge Cosmetics to be the one torque. Ew, I don't know why this looks so patchy. What the fuck? I'm gonna use my finger and take this shimmery gray. I guess that's my only option. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. If anyone knows any good gray matte eyeshadows, let me know because now I feel like I need to acquire some. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the Lorac Mega Pro 2 and just take a light white looking color it's matte and put that under my brow for some reason i feel like these are blending out better with my finger <laughs> oh it's a little weird but okay okay i'm just gonna leave that alone and i'm not gonna put on any wings because i don't feel like it so i'm gonna just put on mascara and i'm gonna use a bare minerals lash domination i quite like this one okay i'm gonna wait for my mascara to dry and then i'm gonna put on these lashes Ugh, they look gross, but these are the Salon Perfect 615. They're very pretty. Um, I'm gonna put them underneath of my normal lashes, but if I do it on camera, it'll take forever. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've got my lashes on. This is what they look like. Uh, where? There's something else today, but they're on. Uh, I'm gonna move on to my face, and I have primer, and I'm gonna use my NYX Angel Veil. I don't know, I just keep using this. I think that it just makes my face look good. I feel like I'm running out already and this shit is not cheap. You'd think it would be because it's fucking NYX, but no. Okay, for a foundation, I'm gonna use this. Uh, it's the ELF Foundation Serum in the shade Light. Okay, I'm gonna apply this with my Real Techniques buffing brush, I think. Yes. This smells fucking weird. <laughs> it smells like a pet store. That smells weird. I feel like I want to go over this with a sponge, but my sponge isn't wet. So I'm just going to slightly do it because it is turning out very streaky right now. That is helping so much. OMG. Okay, I feel like that looks really nice after going over it with like a dry sponge. I mean, it's slightly damp, but that's just from like a few days ago. That's just kind of gross, but uh, this is making it look so much better. I'm going to go ahead and set my forehead with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Nude Beige, I guess. I think that'll match. This might be a little dark. 
Mm, it's fine. Okay, I guess I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Fair. I mean, I love this concealer, but I'm kind of concerned that it's gonna be super light right now. But, ooh well. Um, so last night, I was looking at the website Shop Miss A, because I seen someone on YouTube do a video doing like a full face of everything from there. If you don't know what that website is, it's where everything's a dollar and they have a bunch of makeup that's only a dollar. And I was thinking about doing a full face with that makeup, but uh, like every fucking thing is sold out. Like anything that looks good is sold out. But I found a bunch of other things on there that I wanted, so I ordered them. They actually have these brushes. I mean, I mean sponges, brushes. These sponges that are supposed to be like, just like the beauty blender. And normally I do not fucking like any sponges that aren't the Real Techniques one or the Beauty Blender because they suck. But these ones actually had really good reviews and they were a dollar and they had a pretty shade and it was like black. They have like other shades. So I got it. It had a bunch of reviews, like 40 something and just, and it had five stars. And I was reading it and people were saying, oh, I have the Beauty Blender and this is good. This is like the Beauty Blender. It's like, it's a little different, but that it's, similar to it and good so I'm excited for that to come so I can see if it's actually good because for a dollar like the fuck that's awesome I feel like my face looks slightly um dry and or cakey which I don't know why okay I'm gonna set my under eyes with the NYC smooth skin loose face powder in translucent like always I don't know why I just want to like, keep using this because I fucking love it I still love like my Fit Me powders because I mean I used them under my eyes constantly for a long time. But the difference is since this one is loose, I feel like it's just so much easier for me to get a bunch of powder and pack it on my face. Whereas with the, the Maybelline ones, I had to like rub the sponge in it for a good minute to try to get a bunch of powder on the sponge. Like I'm going to set the rest of my face, but this time I'm going to use the transparent Rimmel Stay Matte because I'm concerned the other one was a little too dark. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like it looked just slightly orangey compared to my neck and my neck feels really yellow right now. I feel like my face just looks so fucking dry. Like I look like an old freaking man. I consider them to be dry. <laughs> I don't know. The fuck, like my face recently, I don't know what the hell is going on. The other day I was in the bathroom and my inner corner was looking messed up a little. So I was like, hmm. And I just washed my hands. So my finger was slightly wet. And I was like, the fuck? And like, I touched it and like wiped away a bunch of makeup. And I was like, uh, and I touched it again. And it was just like a completely bald patch of nothing. I was like, what the fuck? I was wearing Revlon color stay. I was like, you suck at staying. Because how does that even happen? Like I barely even touched my face. Okay. I'm going to start with my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 20M. I feel like I use this every day of my life. Well, I really probably do because I like it that much. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with uh, Benefit Hula in this weird single pan and deepen up the contour. My window's open, realizing right now that you can probably hear dogs barking, because <laughs> I can. Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna start with the ColourPop super shock cheek highlighter thing in the shade hippo which is a stunning purpley shade i'm gonna apply this with my baby real techniques sponge which has highlighter on it already but okay so i'm just gonna put this up here in the area of highlighting why is there a chunk what's there powder all over me the fuck this looks stunning it's like the thing that I'm starting to realize is whenever I use other stick cream highlighters and I do this, I don't know how to explain it, but it gets this weird thing around where I'm touching the sponge. Like it's like it, I guess it moves the powder. It, it does something weird, but I've been finding out that the ColourPop ones don't do that, which is awesome because I actually ordered like two more recently. I already have like four or five or something, but Apparently I needed more. I mean, they look pretty on their own. You don't have to use these as a base, but I like my highlight intense, so. I'm gonna start by taking the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam. I think I'm gonna take Crushed Pearl, which is the lightest one. I love just having powder and foundation all over my mouth for like a whole video because I'm too lazy to take it off. 
I've got an icy fucking cheek happening today. I feel like um, that hippo color and crushed pearl go together perfectly. They almost look like the same type of color. Putting them together did turn it a little bit more silvery instead of purple, but it looks very, very good together. So my camera started to overheat, so I took that as an opportunity to blow dry my hair. Anyway, now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia, 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 I don't know, Moonchild palette and take blue ice like I do every day and put this on the very tippity top of my fucking cheeks because I want to look like a tin man. I feel like my cheeks are silver right now. Fair blush. I don't even know what the fuck to do. I think I'm gonna take uh, this Tarte color wheel. It's the most beautiful thing ever. And I'm gonna use this shade Icon. It looks kind of like a a mauve pink. I recently got this. <laughs> I recently got this brush. It's an Elf. Does not have a name on it. I think it's like the Elf blush brush. Um, and it is actually very like weird shaped. It's kind of like flat and tapered and I really like it because when I do my highlight when I do blush I mean bronzer highlight and then I gotta put my blush in between this can like fit right in there I'm just saying it's probably like three dollars or six or I don't know I feel like my face just wants to look like shit today I can't stop it okay uh since I have this out I'm gonna take uh the darker highlighty shade in this it's idle I think this is a highlighter, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to put this on my forehead-ish area. I always use a darker color right here because I have bronzer right here. And, and I like it to kind of match it, but also still glow in the light. Okay, for the eyeballs, I'm going to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Zulu. And I'm going to put this on my waterline and on my inner corner. What I think I'm gonna do is go back into this BH Cosmetics palette and take the grays and like kind of smoke out the bottom lashes with them. All I'm doing is taking the darker of the grays that I was using and packing it right, right up, right up by that, that waterline. Okay, I hear my cat outside of my door clawing at it. And now she's meowing. Nico! Okay, hold on. Shut the fuck up. Get in here. Come on. You want to say hi to the camera? Nope. She's like seriously just too fat for me to even pick her up and show you her. Okay, I'm going to go back in with this and do like a second layer to really make it opaque. I love how that looks on its own, but I feel like I want to add this glitter. This glitter is dark though, so it's like concerning me but it is my favorite fucking color look at it that is the most perfect teal ever i guess i'm just gonna do it oh, fuck it you know i'm gonna go in with the uh, elf glitter glue and put this on my inner corner i could go in with this one though like that one's like so green I look like a fucking mermaid. What I think I need to do, well, do you think I need to, I think I need to go into the waterline and make it darker teal colored. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna take a tealish colored powder and pack it on my waterline. I don't feel like this is gonna work. <clears throat> Cause I don't have a teal eyeliner that's that dark. Um, no, I think that kind of worked. Uh, there's like so much powder in my eye. Oh no, it feels dry. I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess on my lower lashes. Oh my god. So here's what they look like up close. They're kind of like bam in your fucking face. Like I feel like there's a lot happening, but I love it. Okay, for lips, I think I'm gonna do ColourPop Trap. <laughs> This is my favorite lippy ever, and I feel like it's nice and cool tone, so it should go with the blue. Okay, I'm now done with my makeup. Whenever I was doing my lips, my camera started to overheat, so when I was done, I just went ahead and got completely ready, and I feel like I look super 
I don't even know, 90s or like 2000s or something. I've had this jacket for like a million years, but it matches the color on my eyes, so thought I would wear it. But yeah, that's all I have to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!